water on the farm, it can be a blessing, it can be a hindrance. Uh, we have had most of the farm underwater, and then we get to the extreme in the summer months, uh, we don't get enough. And we had one experience of 60 days on one part of the farm with zero grass growth. That really had us thinking that this wasn't sustainable, what can we do? You know, the irrigation system that we have got on the farm, it's a mixture of centre pivot and long laterals. We've got three distinct soil types on the farm. We could treat our dry area differently from the area that doesn't dry out quite so much. And that gives us a more efficient use of our water. One way we found of reducing the water usage in the farm was not to sprinkle the water over the yard in the summer. The savings in water by doing this, I think it could be as much as 50%. All that water does eventually end up in the pond and you have to dispose of it. Water management is really important. Without water, we can't farm. And if we want to be sustainable and carry on, we have to manage it a lot better. I think Bruce is looking at water in terms of his overall sustainability approach and how can I use it and use it wisely but conserve what I'm using so that I still get the end result, which is a high quality product off, off in the Tanker to Fonterra. He's looked at other people, at other technologies and then applied them uniquely to his situation. And he's more than happy to talk to people. I travelled through summer New Zealand talking to farmers that have standoff pads, that have feed pads and covered feed pads. And I came back and sat down and uh, did a design for, a, I call it a cow barn. In the summer months, the cows are in there for about two to three hours a day. Using the barn in the winter, it was quite a different concept. It's on off grazing, so the cows were let out in the mornings. And if it was a wet day, they were brought back in after three hours. The barn has helped us with water conservation, probably in a, in a hidden way, is that we capture all the effluent over that winter spring period. The barn is completely lined with plastic, but the top layer is sawdust and we use a compost system where it uh, encompasses all the nutrients and enables us to put use them back on the farm. With the covered area, there's no rain that gets in and all the uh, urine is absorbed. Now by working the sawdust in with the dung that's left on top, we then get the composting. And so what we propose to do is, is use the compost on our cropping block. As you can see, absolutely no smell to it, which indicates that the composting system has worked perfectly. What sustainability means to me is three things. The financial one is, if you can't make a profit, say goodbye, because you won't be here tomorrow. It's got to be socially sustainable. People coming down the road, they can look over the fence and feel good seeing your cows out in the paddock grazing grass, because public perception is huge. The other one is it has to be physically sustainable. For example, if you don't put on fertiliser, the day comes when you'll grow no grass. So that whole concept by using irrigation, the capturing all the effluent in the farm, the composting, has made the farm more sustainable.